55 kilometers north of Berlin, a giant steel structure is lifting ships into the air, the Niederfino Shiplift. Its job? Raising ships with 1,000 tons, helping them to overcome a 36 meters terrain inclination, clearing the pathway for ships from Berlin to the Baltic Sea. Built in 1934, the 13,800 tons construction is still working today, making it the oldest operational ship lift in Germany. The lifting itself takes only five minutes, raising the trough with thousands of tons of water to the structure's top. The trough is hanging on 256 steel cables with a diameter of 52 millimeters. The steel cables connect the 4,290 tons trough over pulleys to the steel-enforced concrete counterweights, which also weigh 4,290 tons, putting the trough in balance with the counterweights. Even a ship entering the iron trough cannot affect the balance of the lift. It will displace the same weight in water as it adds to the lift by itself. That's why it only needs four 55 kilowatt electrical motors sitting right on the trough to overcome the friction and move the lift. The actual power transmission is done by a pinion that engages in a rack. The worst case scenario most passengers are afraid of is a failure of the steel cables, which have only been replaced once in its operation history. 1985, more than 35 years ago, in reality, the most likely accident is a leakage of the trough, caused by a loose ship drifting into the gates or a failure of the seals. The resulting sudden loss of weight would destroy the balance with the counterweight, pulling the trough and its passengers skywards. To prevent any accident, the ship lift is outfitted with a highly effective safety feature. A 1.5 meter wide spindle is running in a massive iron thread in each corner of the lift. Being connected to the drive pinion of the lift, the spindle is rotating as the lift moves up or downwards. The thread is slightly larger than the spindle, keeping an air gap of about one inch, which means there is no mechanical wear that would affect the safety mechanism. If the cables fall or weight is suddenly lost, the spindles will get locked in the iron thread and hold the trough in place. This mechanism can support the entire trough's weight, making this type of ship lift extremely safe, while being much faster than a combination of canal locks. The remains of such a classic lifting system can still be seen parallel to the ship lift. While the ship passage took 8 hours with the old lock system, it only takes 20 minutes with the current system, including the ships entering and leaving. After the successful operation of the shiplift in 1934, the sluices were put out of service. While moving upwards, the weight of the steel cables moves from the trough side by the pulley to the counterweight side, putting more and more weight on the counterweight side as the lift moves upwards, totaling in an additional weight of over 90 tons. To overcome this effect, the lift was outfitted with four additional counterweight chains to compensate for the moving weight of the steel cables, putting the lift in perfect balance during the whole lift operation. Until the 1960s, the canal was used by non-propelled ships. These were pulled into the lift by tow rope locomotives. Today, modern pushed barge convoys must be separated because they are too big for this lift. The front barge will be disconnected from the convoy and pulled in and out by a winch. As the old lift had become too small for large barge combinations, a new one was planned alongside to the old lift, the ship lift Niederfino North, built out of reinforced concrete and a trough weight of 9,600 tons. With a length of 115 meters, it will be suitable for larger ships and barge convoys that navigate the canal. Under construction since 2007, its completion has been delayed several times. The start of operation is now planned for 2021, 
But this will not be the old lift's retirement day. It will remain in service until 2025 as a backup for the new lift. Then the old Nidafino ship lift will go out of service and will stop lifting forever. Compared to the modern 300 billion euro high-tech construction, the old Nidafino lift was constructed with simple tools in only seven years and a bill of just 27.5 billion rice marks. The old lift plan started in 1906 when the old lock combination became too small for the increasing size of the ships traveling the Fino Canal. But the beginning of World War I put the plans to a stop until 1927 when the preparations began with the excavation of the construction pit. The foundations were 29 meters in depth, reaching 19 meters beyond the groundwater level requiring a complicated excavation with caissons and workers in pressurized chambers. A 60-meter high gantry crane was constructed to build the steel structure of the lift. The steel beams were connected with a total of 5 billion rivets, a total of 72,000 cubic meters of concrete and 13,800 tons of steel were used. In 1934, the lift was ready for operation. Stay tuned for more videos of this series or watch our other videos and subscribe to our channel.